Um, one of the things I wanted to add, make clear, that I began really as a pilgrim tourist on the Camino de Santiago, on the Via Francigena to Rome, and then again to Santiago, but beginning in Germany on, uh, at the tomb of uh, Charlemagne, and then continuing on through to Finisterre. But all of those areas, all of those whatever, 5,000, 6,000 kilometers, were in areas that people are accustomed to pilgrims. And so it's all set up, it's all done very easily. And you have to walk and that's difficult and you have to be with yourself and get into your rhythm. And it's not normal life and it's not tourism in the sense of going to museums all day and that sort of thing. But there's a touristic element to it and it's been, it's a pattern. Then I broke off and, and was the pilgrim of faith. When I went to regions afterwards that have no tradition, modern tradition of pilgrimage. And so I'm new, I'm the first, the first pilgrim people had encountered. And it occurred to me aligning this with why do pilgrims exist in all of the faiths? Why is there such a ancient, ancient idea of pilgrims? Well, I think from the Christian side, it answers the question, um, Jesus tells us the most important thing, love God above all things. Okay, the next is, and love your neighbor as yourself. So I think it's so important as a, the role of a pilgrim, beyond the touristic elements of it, but the role more important and deeper is to go out and actively find those neighbors of the world, go further and further from your own base, from your own culture, out into the world on a pilgrimage to encounter the, the neighbors of the whole world. We're all global citizens, world inhabitants. So to love your neighbor as yourself you can actively do that by going out to these neighbors of the world, saying, I'm from just the next country, just the next continent, somewhere just around the side of the globe, and it's still, we're people, and people are people. So to go and find the neighbors and to love the neighbors as yourself, as you would treat them as you would want to be treated, then it's real, then it's important, and it has a deeper meaning than any one tourist ex exploring the world for themselves. And I had a further experience on this in this direction when I was on my fourth pilgrimage again in an area that doesn't really have long distance pilgrims when I walked from Denver Colorado to the Basilica of Guadalupe in Mexico City and walking through the Chihuahua Desert until that time I've heard of course the biblical statements about love your neighbor as yourself yep got it okay then it says Jesus says but it's not enough to love those who love you back. You must love your enemy as well. And I was so innocent and cocky in the sense that, hey, I'm a good person, I have no enemies. But wait a minute, those narco traficantes in the Chihuahua desert, heavily armed and I'm all alone, well, they're not my friends. And then the others, I had kept going, different situations. The, the uh, religious extremists that I had encountered in North Africa and other places, the, the Marxist I encountered in the high country of Peru, the, the wife beaters I've seen in many different countries and, and the, the family abusers, these people do exist and these, they're not my friends. I would not individually call them my enemies on a one person to one person basis, but this kind of philosophy that's so different from the love your neighbor perspective. But these people have all hosted me for an evening. They've all offered me hospitality, taken me into their homes, and offered me a meal and a safe place to sleep. So for those nights, those evenings, those moments, well, there was peace, where otherwise there, there could have been violence. So to actively love your enemy as well, uh, uh, that's how I interpret it. As a pilgrim, I kind of have this ability to go and find some enemies of the world and sit and talk with them as people, as individuals, in the absence of violence. And that's a great service. That's a great service a pilgrim can provide. So these simple words in the Bible that we've all read forever, but now there's meaning to it for me. So love God above all things with all your heart and soul and mind and body. Got it? And love your enemy as yourself. Go out and meet them. Got it? And, or love your neighbor as yourself. Go out and meet them and love your enemy as well. I got it. I think this is the role of a pilgrim. And I think in meeting these people of the world on a simple one-to-one -one basis, there is a, a building of trust and trust is the foundation of peace and peace is universal and, and speaks all languages through all cultures and all ages, all levels of education, all levels of society. 
This is the important role of a pilgrim. And this is where I've kind of transitioned philosophically from first having been a touristic pilgrim, I admit, and then a pilgrim of faith, because it takes faith to go and do this. Faith in God for a Christian, yes, but also faith in humanity that people will take care. And then faith, uh, or the pilgrim, the service as a pilgrim. So it's not just a pilgrim of faith, but a servant pilgrim to go out and serve the world in this capacity of loving the neighbor and loving the enemy and building trust and establishing peace. This is a great service. I'm really happy to be a pilgrim. <laughs>